there, this is Yanis with episode number 6 of the Archive Basic Tutorial series. As a project grows, it can become very difficult to keep track of all its parts. We have boards for outlines and scenes and dialogue trees, and then we have components for characters and locations and items and scenery. What if we want to access something quickly? What if we want to change a character's name, for example, without having to manually go through all the text in the project? One of Arquive's great strengths is the ability to have an organic communication among the parts of our project. Just a reminder, you can find the link to the finished tutorial project in the description of this video and every video of the basic tutorial series. So, if we want to change something in the project, uh, one way to go about it is, of course, to use the magnifying glass, the search box. Uh, let's type something that is uh, all over the project. Let's type the word you. Then we get all the instances of the word you. And by clicking each one of them, we travel to the element it appears. Okay. So, finding and replacing is definitely a way to do this, but there is a much, much easier way to change a character's name throughout the project, and this is mentions. We've seen what components can do. One other powerful feature they offer is the ability to mention them in our text. To do this, we start typing the at character and then pick component from the list that appears. So if we go to our Linetti apartment element, we can change this part here. They open and we can put uh, Horus opens, but let's make this a mention and type at Horus Linetti opens but refuses to speak to you. So let's see what this does. First of all, it works as a link to the component. So if we click on it, we open the Horus component. Second, mentioning a component keeps the text up to date with name changes. So if we decide to change Horus's name to, let's say, uh, Bob, we see that the name gets updated everywhere. Of course, it doesn't get updated in the backstory facts unless we also mention it in the same way. All this is incredibly useful, especially when collaborating with other people. If someone changes something, nothing gets left behind. All the project stays in sync. The other thing we can mention is boards. So let's say we have another board for the apartment's uh, interior. So let's create a new board and rename it. We don't have to put any content in it right now, but we can still mention it. So if we go to Linetti appointment, uh, without any particular reason, let's add at apartment at the end. And this is a mention to the apartment board. And of course, if we rename the board, The link also changes its text. This was fun. It's good to know you don't have to manually change things like characters' names or keep track of all the instances of something. On the next video, we'll talk about keeping notes. If you're finding these tutorials helpful, please consider subscribing to Arquive's official YouTube channel. You can also follow Arquive on Twitter and Facebook. Let the games begin. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak very, very soon. Mm -hmm.